Have you ever seen a meteor shower? Learn why they happen and how they get their names in this amazing video about meteor showers. Make sure to watch our video until the end for the best part. A meteor shower is a celestial event in which a number of meteors are observed to radiate, or originate, from one point in the night sky. These meteors are caused by streams of cosmic debris called meteoroids entering Earth's atmosphere at extremely high speeds on parallel trajectories. Most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand, so almost all of them disintegrate and never hit the Earth's surface. Very intense or unusual meteor showers are known as meteor outbursts and meteor storms, which produce at least 1,000 meteors an hour, most notably from the Leonids. The Meteor Data Center lists over 900 suspected meteor showers of which about 100 are well established. Several organizations point to viewing opportunities on the internet. NASA maintains a daily map of active meteor showers. A meteor shower in August 1583 was recorded in the Timbuktu manuscripts. In the modern era, the first great meteor storm was the Leonids of November 1833. One estimate, greater than 100k meteors per hour. Another, over 9 hours, greater than 200k meteors over NA east of Rockies. American Denison Olmsted, 1791-1859, explained the event most accurately. After spending the last weeks of 1833 collecting information, he presented his findings in January 1834 to the American Journal of Science and Arts, published in January to April 1834, and January 1836. He noted the shower was of short duration and was not seen in Europe, and that the meteors radiated from a point in the constellation of Leo. He speculated the meteors had originated from a cloud of particles in space. Work continued, yet coming to understand the annual nature of showers though the occurrences of storms perplexed researchers. The actual nature of meteors was still debated during the 19th century. Many scientists, Humboldt, Quetelet, Schmidt, thought meteors were atmospheric until Schiaparelli's 1867 work, Notes, related them to comets. Irish astronomer Stoney. They studied the dust ejected in 1866 by Comet 55P Temple Tuttle before the anticipated Leonid shower return of 1898 and 1899. Meteor storms were expected, but the final calculations showed that most of the dust would be far inside Earth's orbit. The same results were independently arrived at by Adolf Berberich of the Connellisches Astronomisches Rechen Institute, Royal Astronomical Computation Institute in Berlin, Germany. Although the absence of meteor storms that season confirmed the calculations, the advance of much better computing tools was needed to arrive at reliable predictions. In 1981, Donald K. Yeomans of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory reviewed the history of meteor showers for the Leonids and the history of the dynamic orbit of Comet Temple Tuttle. A graph from it was adapted and republished in Sky and Telescope. It showed relative positions of the Earth and Temple Tuttle and marks where Earth encountered dense dust. In 1985, evidence showed meteoroids mostly behind and outside the comet's path, yet Earth's near-path activity through the particle cloud yielded powerful storms. Kondratova and E. Reznikov of Kazan State University first correctly identified the years when dust was released which was responsible for several past Leonid meteor storms. In 1995, Peter Jeniskins predicted the 1995 Alpha Monocerotids outburst from dust trails. In anticipation of the 1999 Leonid storm, Robert H. McNaught, David Asher, and Finland's Esko Lyaitinen were the first to apply this method in the West. In 2006 Jeniskins published predictions for future dust trail encounters covering the next 50 years. Jeremy Vobalen updates IMCCE predictions each year. Meteor shower particles appear to radiate from a single point. This radiant point is caused by the effect of perspective, similar to parallel railroad tracks converging at a single vanishing point on the horizon. Meteor showers are normally named after the constellation from which the meteors appear to originate. This fixed point slowly moves across the sky during the night due to the Earth turning on its axis, the same reason the stars appear to slowly march across the sky. The radiant also moves slightly from night to night against the background stars, radiant drift, due to the Earth moving in its orbit around the Sun. See Emo Meteor Shower Calendar 2017 for maps of fixed points at highest point for that night. The sun will be just clearing the eastern horizon. For meteor showers, names derive from constellation, bright star near radiant pos. At peak, with id, or ids, replacing Latin possessive form. Best viewing time is slightly before dawn. The IAU's task group and data center track meteor shower nomenclature and established showers from comet debris interaction with planets.
Comets can produce debris by water vapor drag, as demonstrated by Fred Whipple in 1951, and by breakup. Whipple envisioned comets as dirty snowballs, made up of rock embedded in ice, orbiting the sun. The ice may be water, methane, ammonia, or other volatiles, alone or in combination. The rock may vary in size from a dust moat to a small boulder. Dust moat sized solids are orders of magnitude more common than those the size of sand grains, which, in turn, are similarly more common than those the size of pebbles, and so on. When the ice warms and sublimates, the vapor can drag along dust, sand, and pebbles. What is your opinion on this topic? Leave your remarks in the comments section below.